Hi guys, welcome to Plot Recapped. Today, I'll be recapping the events of a comedy adventure movie from 2013, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. There will be spoilers ahead. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Let's begin. The scene opens with our protagonist, Walter Mitty, who works in a photograph magazine called Life. He is at his home, and can be seen creating an account on a dating website called eHarmony. His sole purpose of getting on the website is to get in contact with his office crush, Cheryl Melhoff. He stalks her for a while and decides to send a wink to her. He hesitates at first, but gathers some courage and does it. But, there is some technical glitch, and his wink gets failed. He tries sending it again a couple of times, but fails. So he leaves for his office, and on his way, contacts eHarmony's customer support. He gets connected to a guy named Todd, who hears his problem. Todd explains to him that he should build up his profile. Like in the been there and done that section, he should probably fill something. But, Walter replies that he has never been anywhere noteworthy and neither he has done anything mentionable. Suddenly, he hears the barking of a dog from an adjacent building. He gets up, and directly jumps into the building through the window. Then he comes out from the building with a three-legged dog and gives it to her office crush, Cheryl. He tells her that he smelled gas, so he directly jumped into the building to save her dog. Cheryl gets impressed, but suddenly, Walter's daydream ends, and he is still on the call with Todd. Now he runs to his office, and one of his colleagues tells him that their company got acquired. Then we see Walter's sister, Odessa, who has come to the office to wish him a happy birthday. Walter thanks her and sends her back to take care of their mother. He then meets his colleagues, and the managing director for the transition, Ted Hendricks. Ted slightly humiliates Walter as he is carrying a cake, but Walter makes a savage comeback and cracks a joke about Ted's beard. His colleagues start laughing, but Walter's dream breaks again, and we see that he's just standing silently. Here, we get to know that Walter has a habit of daydreaming, and in real life, he is extremely boring. Walter now goes to his office and meets his coworker, Hernando. Hernando tells him about a negative photo role that they have received this morning. That negative role was actually sent by the great photojournalist, Sean O'Connell. He has sent that role as it included the photo for the last cover page of Life magazine. Sean has also sent a present for Walter as they have worked together for 16 years. The present was actually just a wallet with Life magazine's motto on it. Now, Walter checks the negative role and finds out that the 25th photo is missing, and it was actually the photo selected by Sean for the last cover page. Just then, one of his colleagues enters the room and tells him that their new boss Ted, wants to see the cover photo as soon as possible. Then, Walter sees Cheryl and plans to ask for help as she works in photo accounts. He introduces himself and asks Cheryl if she can provide Sean's address. Cheryl explains that Sean's a freelancer, so they don't have his address. Then, Hernando comes there and tells him that all the photos between the 25th and 28th photo were taken on the same day. So they can use the photos to track down Sean's location. At lunch, Walter meets Cheryl and shows her the three photographs taken on the same day. He finally reveals that he doesn't have the 25th photo, and that's why he wants to find Sean. Cheryl is unable to offer much help, so she leaves from there. Then we see that Walter meets his sister who has brought a toy for him. There, he receives a call from Hernando who asks him to come back to the office. In office, Hernando shows one more picture to Walter and tells him that it is a clue to finding Sean. Sean then talks to Cheryl about the new photo, who googles the code written on it. There, Cheryl receives a call to pick her son, and she invites Walter to come with her. Then Walter meets Cheryl's son and teaches him some cool skateboard tricks. But unfortunately, Cheryl doesn't witness any tricks as she was busy on the phone. Afterwards, Cheryl informs Walter that the last check sent to Sean was in Greenland, so it's possible that he is there. And the code written on the photo actually belongs to a ship that sails from Greenland too. For the first time, Walter gathers courage and directly gets on a flight to Greenland. He reaches there the next day and goes to the bar where Sean's check was sent. Walter asks the bar owner about Sean, and she tells him that they delivered the check to Sean through helicopter just a couple of days ago. There, a drunk man suddenly starts fighting with Walter. Amid their quarrel, Walter notices the big man's thumb which is in one of the photos taken by Sean. So they sit together and start talking. The big man tells Walter that he is the helicopter pilot, and he would deliver some radio equipment to the same boat again in a few minutes. Walter wants to go with him, but the big man is so drunk that Walter gets afraid to fly with him. Walter once again looks hopeless but he starts daydreaming again, and sees Cheryl singing for him. 
He gets motivated by Cheryl's song and gets the courage to hop on the helicopter. Even Walter himself is amazed by his fearless move. Then they reach the ship where Sean earlier was. The big man asks Walter to jump towards the rescue boat with radio equipment. But, due to a misunderstanding, Walter jumps towards the big boat and starts to drown. To make things worse, he gets attacked by a shark. He somehow survives and reaches the rescue boat, but loses the radio equipment in the process. He gets comfortable on the ship, and the captain informs him that they dropped Sean to Iceland just a couple of hours ago. Now, a crew member gets friendly with Walter and gives him a cake to eat. The crew member tells him that the cake was brought by Sean. There, Walter checks the paper in which the cake was wrapped, and sees the name of a volcano. The crew member explains that the ship will pass from the volcano tomorrow, so he can get off there to find Sean. The following day, the ship reaches the island, and Walter gets on a bike to leave for the volcano. After traveling some distance, he accidentally falls down and crashes the bike. But at this point, his motivation is so through the roof, that he starts running towards the town. He soon reaches there and meets some kids. He asks them for the volcano's direction, and gets an idea. He asks the kids to trade their skateboard with the toy he got from his sister. The kid somehow agrees and he starts his journey on the skateboard. After having some fun with the skateboard and covering some distance, he reaches the town near the volcano. But, the town is completely empty and there is no trace of human evidence. Suddenly, a warning siren starts and a man comes in a car to pick Walter up. He tells Walter that the volcano is erupting so they need to leave immediately. There, Walter sees Sean on an airplane trying to capture the photo of an erupting volcano. But, they get in the car to leave and barely make it to a safe space. The car driver drops Walter at a motel, and leaves. Walter gets a message from Hernando that he has been fired from the job. He immediately leaves for his town and goes to his office. There, Ted asks him for the photograph, so Walter tries to explain everything. But Ted doesn't want to listen to him and fires him. Hernando tells Walter that they fired Cheryl too. So he goes to meet her, but her ex-husband opens the door. Walter gets jealous and decides to leave, but leaves the skateboard he traded earlier for Cheryl's son. Now, Walter goes to his home and meets his family. His sister asks him to tip the workers and he takes out his wallet. But, as it is the wallet gifted by Sean, he throws it into the trash can. Feeling sad, he sits on the couch and starts looking at one of the photos by Sean. There, he notices that the photo resembles his mother's piano so he asks her about it. Her mother explains that Sean came there to meet her a couple of days ago, and that was when he took the photo. Now Walter gets to know that Sean's next location is the Himalayas in Afghanistan, so he immediately takes his travel bag and leaves for there. After a few days of traveling, he reaches Afghanistan, and hires two natives to climb the mountain with him. After coming near the mountain's peak, the natives advise him to cover the remaining distance alone. On his way, he receives a call from Todd, who tells him that his profile has received a ton of winks. But, Cheryl has withdrawn his account from the website. So, Walter says that he wants to withdraw his account too as he cannot afford the service. On the mountain, a man tells Sean to keep quiet as he is working. That man is none other than Sean O'Connolly and Walter gets shocked seeing him. Walter gathers the courage to introduce himself, and tells Sean that they have worked together for 16 years. And he is unable to find the 25th photo for the cover of magazine, and now he has lost his job. Sean tells him that the photo was inside the wallet that he sent as a gift. Now, Sean sees something from his camera and asks Walter to see it too. They witness a snow leopard, which is incredibly hard to see. Walter asks Sean to take the photo, but Sean denies it and tells him that sometimes he doesn't. If he really likes something, he likes to capture the moment in his heart, not in camera. Then the scene ends there and Walter returns to Los Angeles. But at the airport, the security arrest Walter as there is a travel ban to Afghanistan. They ask him if there is anyone who can recognize him, and he names Todd from eHarmony. He gets released and we see Todd for the first time. They sit and talk for a while and the scene ends there. The next day, Walter sells his mother's piano due to their financial condition. He gets the check but he doesn't have a wallet to put his money in. So his mother gives him the wallet she picked up from the trash can. He gets surprisingly happy seeing that wallet and directly goes to his office without looking at the photo. He gives the photo to Ted and asks him about the company's motto. Todd doesn't know the motto, so Walter humiliates Ted for his arrogant behavior, and leaves from there. The next day, he again goes to his office for his account settlement, and luckily, meets Cheryl. 
He confesses to her as to how she motivated him to jump on the helicopter and be brave. So Cheryl also tells him that on that day, her ex-husband was there to only repair the fridge. Walter apologizes for that day, and the two start walking together. While walking they see a magazine shop, and they stop to see the last cover photo of Life magazine. It turns out, the 25th photo was actually Walter's photo as he dedicated 16 years of his life to the magazine. There, Walter remembers Sean's advice and instead of buying the book, holds Cheryl's hand, and cherishes the moment. That was it for the recap guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and comment on the movie you would like to see next. Thanks for watching.